This question is from NEET 2013 question paper in which two pith balls. Pith balls are plastic or a rubber balls of a diameter not more than 3 inches. Carrying the equal charges are suspended from the common point by a string of equal lengths. The equilibrium separation between them is R as shown in figure case 1. Now, the strings are rigidly clamped at half of height as shown in figure case 2. Note, length of a string is not reduced to half, but its height as in case 1 is reduced to y by 2 and asked to find the distance of separation in case 2. Let it be x. Balls in both the cases are in equilibrium. Like charges opposes each other, so the angle between them should be 180 degree. But this doesn't happen because component of gravitational force is in the direction of a center. So, to solve the given question, we will obtain the equations for the equilibrium in terms of electric force and gravitational force in both the cases and play around these equations to express x in terms of r. So, let's start to resolve the forces. In figure, we have shown only one pit ball for sake of convenience. Vertical distance is y and horizontal distance of the ball from the center is r by 2. String makes an angle of theta with the vertical. Let's draw a downward blue arrow aligned with the string. Gravitational force mg is acting downwards and make an angle of theta with the string as vector mg is parallel to the vertical distance y and string acts as a transversal. Component of mg along the downward blue arrow is mg cos theta and perpendicular component to the string is mg sin theta shown by downward yellow arrow. Let f be the electrostatic force of repulsion on the ball. It makes an angle of 90 minus theta with the direction of a string as mg and f are mutually perpendicular. Component of f along the string in downward direction is f cos of 90 minus theta. So, the tension in the string is mg cos theta plus f cos of 90 minus theta and perpendicular component of electrical force is f sin of 90 minus theta which is equal to f cos of theta. Note, mg sin theta and f cos theta acts on the ball in opposite direction. So, equilibrium is achieved. We can now have an equation as mg sin theta is equal to f cos theta. Therefore, mg into sin of theta upon cos of theta is equal to f or mg is equal to f upon tan theta. Tan of theta is always opposite upon adjacent. Therefore, tan of theta is equal to r upon 2 divided by y or tan of theta is equal to r upon 2y. Reciprocal of tan of theta is equal to 2y upon r. Substituting the value of 1 upon tan theta in above equation, we get mg is equal to 2fy upon r. Mark it as equation 1. Now we will go to the case 2. In case 2, f will not be same as the distance has changed. Therefore, we will replace f by f1. y is now reduced to y by 2 and r is changed to x. Therefore, we get the equation as mg is equal to 2 times of f1 into y by 2 upon x or mg is equal to f1y upon x. Let's mark it as equation number 2. Since left hand side of the equation 1 and 2 is same, therefore, Right hand side of the equation 1 and 2 are same. Let's equate. Get the equation at the equilibrium as 2y upon r into f is equal to y upon x into f1. Let's substitute the value of f and f1. We get the equation as 2 upon r into 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into q square upon r square 
equal to 1 upon x into 1 upon 4 by epsilon 0 into q square upon x square. On simplifying, we get the value of x as x is equal to r upon cube root of 2. Option B is correct.